Anna Navarro defends Kamala Harris by posting risque photo of Melania Trump amidst dating history criticism. In a bold and controversial move, Anna Navarro, co-host of The View, has taken a firm stand against those criticizing Vice President Kamala Harris's dating history by sharing a provocative photo of former First Lady Melania Trump. The image, which Navarro posted on Instagram, depicts Melania Trump in a risque pose from a 2000 GQ magazine shoot, sparking a heated debate on social media. Some Republicans are out there on TV and social media making vile sexual remarks about Kamala Harris and wanting to make her dating history an issue. Go right ahead. You want to make that an issue. Bring it on. I've never seen naked pics of it Kamala Harris or her spouse, Navarro wrote in her Instagram post shared on Thursday. The provocative photo shows Melania Trump lying on a fur rug, adorned with a diamond necklace, bracelets, and black heels, while handcuffed to a briefcase inside Donald Trump's private jet. This image, originally shot for the January 2000 edition of GQ, has resurfaced in light of Navarro's fiery defense of Harris. Navarro didn't stop there. She added a second photo to her post, showing former President Donald Trump and Melania Trump posing with the late pedophile Jeffrey Epstein and his former girlfriend and co-conspirator, Ghislaine Maxwell, at Trump's Mar-a-Lago property in 2000. Kamala never partied with sexual predators. You wanna go low? I'm not leaving one thing unanswered this time. Not a one. I'll happily go 20,000 leagues under the sea, Navarro continued, ending her statement with the Spanish phrase, no T meters can my go, which translates to don't FK with me. She later seemed to have deleted this phrase from her post. The history between Donald Trump and Jeffrey Epstein has been well documented, with Trump once describing Epstein as a terrific guy who enjoyed his social life with beautiful women, many of whom were on the younger side. However, after Epstein's arrest in 2019 on charges of sex crimes involving underage girls, Trump distanced himself, claiming, I had a falling out with him a long time ago. I don't think I've spoken to him for 15 years. I was not a fan of his. That I can tell you. Navarro's post comes in the wake of increasing scrutiny over Kamala Harris's past relationships, particularly as she runs for the presidency against Donald Trump after President Biden's unexpected withdrawal from the race. Criticism of Harris's dating history has been spearheaded by far-right activists like Laura Loomer, who crudely accused Harris of using romantic relationships to advance her political career. Luma alleged, without evidence, that Harris got her career started giving BW jobs to successful, rich, black men, a claim that has been widely condemned. Harris, who married Douglas M. Hoff in 2014, previously dated television host Martel Williams and former San Francisco Mayor Willie Brown. The vice president's detractors have used these past relationships to question her credentials and integrity, prompting a wave of support from high-profile figures. Cardi B also rallied to Harris's defense, tweeting, What does Kamala Harris' husband or relationships have to do with seek her credentials? Do y'all hire people based on who they f king? Her statement echoes the sentiments of many who believe that Harris's personal life should not be used to undermine her professional achievements. Navarro's Instagram post has ignited a fierce debate over the ethics of personal attacks in political discourse. While some praise her for defending Harris with such fervor, others criticize her for resorting to what they see as equally personal and invasive tactics. This incident highlights the ongoing struggle faced by women in politics, who are often subjected to scrutiny over their personal lives in ways that their male counterparts are not. As the 2024 presidential race heats up, the conversation around Harris's dating history and Navarro's provocative defense is likely to continue reflecting broader societal debates about gender, power, and the boundaries of political discourse. In the end, Anna Navarro's unapologetic stance serves as a stark reminder that in the world of politics, the personal and the political are often inextricably intertwined. Whether one agrees with her methods or not, her message is clear, 
the double standards facing women in politics must be challenged head-on.